Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. So today I thought I'd continue along my theme of making ephemera out of, I mean embellishments out of um, scrap stuff. So I'm going to make some paper snippets out of scraps of paper. I have a huge box full of scraps here, as you can see loads that I never seem to get to the bottom of <laughs> and I thought you use some of those up and um, I've made one here to show you so it's literally just layers of scraps and I've glued mine down and then I've added a, a paper flower um, so I'll show you close up so I've picked floral themed bits of paper or music paper or scraps of whatever you've got really simply because I'm making a floral journal so these um, one or two of these will go into that and I've added layered up some paper flowers um, and just added a little uh, bit of bling in the middle I don't want to make mine too deep because I want them fairly flat if they're going inside the journal I mean, you can make a really, you know, lovely, extravagant one for the front covers. Um, maybe um, I might perhaps have a go at doing a few of those for the stash uh, in future. So I'll show you what I've got out. So I have got a pile of scraps that I've chosen that I thought were fitting in theme. Um, and um, I've got some paper flowers here and some little inserts that I thought I'd put in. Those actually are the only material thing going on. So I thought they might be nice. So let's get started. So literally all I'm doing is choosing a base piece. And as I go along, I am distress edging mine with vintage photo so we'll make we'll put down some bases to start with so here's a here's a nice base this is um floor themed or should we have a plain base let's have a look so we've got some green scraps here just gonna Take the edges down so I want them to look a bit um, shabby ish, not too perfect. Okay, so we'll do, I think we'll try and do four today. So these are the bases, and you can make them as big or small as you like. There's a nice base there. That's a piece of Tim Holtz wallpaper. One of his sheets. I must have used it in something else. Previous life. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for anyone who's joining me today. My videos are not really tutorials as such. I wouldn't suggest that I'm you know a tutorial type of person i just like to show you what i make on my channel and um it's surprising what you can make out of trash and scraps so you don't need to spend a fortune especially at the moment when things are tight for everyone okay Thank you for joining me, and if you're a new-ish subscriber, then um, I would be so grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, if you've just popped along by accident, and hit that bell, and that will notify you of any future videos that I'm doing. So, um, I would be very grateful. Thank you. I'm not very good at um, selling myself or t 
touting for business as such. <laughs> and not very good at doing that. Some crafters I know, you know, they leave and tell their subscribers what they'd love to receive as happy mail. I couldn't do that, I'm afraid. I don't go down that road. Um, I don't know. I'm not very good, as I say. I don't think I'd make a very good salesperson in as a career. Um, I'm not pushy enough, I don't think. I think you have to have a certain amount of, you know, um, strength to do that. Let's see. I've got one more piece for base. That's having all this stuff that we've got here. We want it to be a fairly strong piece, so I'll just get another piece out. And there's a nice piece of digital music paper. So it's from a scrap pad. not printed off digitally from you know download so that'd be nice because that's quite a nice thickness they you know they don't need to be too sturdy but you can practically use what you want but it's, i like the theme this is kind of all floral related so we're still adding on some layers I don't know, I'm just going to make a pile of the next sort of size that I want um, and see what I think goes where. Oh, I love this. Um, Paper. I love the colour and the pattern. And we'll take it down just a tiny bit. Hence we're making more scraps. I think it's time to make another master board. It's a good way of using up scraps. So there's a nice scrap for one of them. What I'm doing is just going through my pile here and sorting out some suitable bits that I like to add on mine. I could be any shape. Here's a nice piece of, um, it won't turn up when I just use my gadget. And you can use scissors to do this. But you have to be very careful, don't cut yourself, particularly as these scissors in my hand are very sharp. But you just literally take the blade and go along the edge and it has the same effect as that little gadget. Having said that, that gadget, it's a crafter's companion one, and it's not expensive. About three pounds. Got mine on Amazon. And some nice brown paper here. We don't want the shiny side. So. a little bit of nice script paper here just putting those in the bin on my desk got some 
bottom of this nice paper. It's a lovely colour. Straw paper, this is called. Maybe because of its colour. I'm not sure why it's called that. I'm putting the bits in the bin as I go along. I don't so I'll leave that that shape I think. And got a bit here, nice bit with a butterfly on. Might be quite nice. This is more kind of digital paper here. Let's have a look now and see what we've got. So that might be quite nice on there. Sure about that piece, it's a bit too pinky for me. Um, so is that actually? A scrap of floor digital. No idea whose these are now. I mean, when you buy few kits and you use bits here and bits there it's sometimes I recognize whose they are so we have a bit of that there um, maybe we'll finish that with that that would be quite nice actually perhaps on there Put that bit away for a minute because I'm not too keen on that. So I'm just layering them up and there's no kind of set number of layers. It's entirely up to you. When you feel they're finished, then they're finished kind of thing. So, and I don't always put them directly on top of each other kind of stagger them around a bit uh, bit of dictionary page here So then what I would do is, if I was happy with that one, I might then put one of these paper flowers on the top, like so. Um, or I might even put a butterfly on the top, like that. Or a bird. 
that's quite nice for the birds. I think we'll have the bird on there. Very delicate. <laughs> the bird on there um, We've got some scraps of vellum here. Let's use the tool again, see if we can just rough up the edges. Because trying to tear vellum, I've found, is not always easy, especially a, a kind of narrow piece like this. Quite nice because you can see everything through it. Or you can take a fussy cut kind of picture of a flower and stick that on if that's kind of the theme you want so that the top the very last layer on the top is kind of the I don't know the um, topping if you like Edith Holden's book page scrap from that with some of her lovely writing on. a little actually this kind of been made into almost a scrap but it was something I was experimenting with using my pinking shears so it might be quite nice on top of one of these perhaps some more of this nice brown kind of paper. I think this is sandwich paper. You can wrap their sandwiches in it or you might be lucky if you perhaps buy something from one of these delicatessen type places. Um, sandwich shops or whatever that you might get your sandwiches wrapped up in that. So I'm going to put that there. suitable scrap now so I've got this piece of digital
another scrap of music I'm not going to try and I'll try and do the edges but I don't think that's going to work very well because it's such a a small scrap but it's a nice scrap <laughs> perfect little music piece In view. It's another thicker paper is easy to tear when it's small. That's a nice green piece. Maybe we'll have that poking out of there. See what else have we got? We've got a piece of this. This is out of a book, floral book, so it's a piece of book page. And I think we may layer this one up like so. Okay, so just a couple more little bits. It's another nice piece of that lovely paper, yellow paper there. Sort of ochre yellow. I might pop that there. That's probably everything. Okay, so I'm going to glue these down and then we'll put the toppings on. So we start with this one. I'm going to use my beacon three in one. So just taking the bottom piece, just literally sticking that on at a kind of an angle. So I want to be able to see the various bits. What we could do is maybe something else to go on there. So this nice tissue paper. Can't really distress the edges very well because it's so thin. That would be quite nice because it's see-through and it just gives it a little bit more. Um, I'm just going to, I don't like the shape of that. So we will pop 
that one there. Like so. And then we'll make a decision as to what we're... We've already got a butterfly on there. So maybe I think one of these layered flowers. So these are just... You can buy a pack of these and some have got script on, some are dotty um, and all I'm going to do is glue that down, sort of up there really and I'll just, I'm just layering them up really, these flat um, flowers like that. I'm going to pop that in the middle. I said I was putting a top on at the end. I can't resist. And then I've got some blingy bits here. And again, I just want a flattish piece. And I want to pop it in the middle of that. So I think maybe a nice green one might make it stand out. I'm just going to put a dob of glue on there and pop that down in the middle like that. And that one's kind of done. You can add to them um, if you use them in your journals. When you come to decide where they're going, you can add, add to them. Okay, this one only seems to have three bits on, or have I dropped these somehow? No, I haven't. Okay, let's find a couple more bits for this. See, some bits don't really like been um, trying to have the edges scraped. Right, let's see what have we got. I do try and match the colours to a certain extent. You know, but they can be as random as you like. I mean, you can use anything book pages, magazines, whatever. So, I've really picked out a lot of the scraps of florally type paper, like so. just want one more piece to go on top, I think, before we put our top on. There's a tiny scrap of that nice yellowy paper. It's sort of a mustard yellow, isn't it? I wonder what colours will be in vogue this year. Last year it was kind of grey was the theme, wasn't it? Everyone was painting their houses in grey inside, different shades, <laughs> various shades. Um, so every year there seems to be a colour in vogue, whether it's for clothing or... Decorating.
when you've done these they can be used in your journal on a page as a tuck spot just or just for you know embellishment um quite nice use as a tuck spot actually layering them up like that and this was our base wasn't it so that piece I want to put kind of on the side So hopefully you can see me. I always tend to go off at a random angle, to be honest. I think my sleeve caught something. It's possible that it caught um, some bits. They might be on the floor. I'm sure I did enough for the other one, but we've done it now. Okay, so that's that one. That's those three. Is done. Okay, this one's got quite a lot in it. Just putting a dollop on then spreading it out. Um, I've decided we're going to pop the bird on, so just give him a little bit of glue. I just put some more bird food out a short while ago for the birds. They're eating like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> this cold weather we're having. It's nowhere near as cold as overseas, I know, but we're never geared up for it in the UK. Never, ever. So, um, it comes as a big shock to us. I want to cover up that lovely pansy. Okay, right, right, okay, let's decide. So that one we've decided that's going to have that topper. This one has a nice bird here. We, as I say, can add to it in the in your journal. Um, let's see, do we want another butterfly on that one? Or maybe this one. That's got a butterfly on it. Let's put a flower on this one. Okay. 
really squeezing hard this glue does not want to come out it doesn't like the cold at all okay we'll put some bling on in a minute this one let's see what we got a nice blue butterfly there I think that's quite nice that blue butterfly hasn't been used I think it's been around a while so we'll put him on I'm not going to leave the wings up I'm just going to use my black pen to give him some antennae just to finish him off. Okay, this one. I've got a really pretty digital butterfly there. That's quite nice. Or... a nice uh, wagtail might use him he's quite nice I've actually had a wagtail in our garden uh, this winter not seen uh, a black and white wagtail in the garden before so I think winter brings out a lot of birds that don't generally come near the garden you know so field fairs come down they're very attractive birds they are uh, do we want on this one got a digit die cut bee but i don't think he'd show up got this bee which is a bit sticky be quite nice we might stick him on anyway because we haven't used him he was just in a pot on my desk and what else what have we got oh two mushrooms but it's in there in keeping i have got this this again was in the a pot on my desk this is a um it's actually it's two stuck together i don't know if i'll be able to get them apart now two um st stickers that are stamps oh we might be able to get them apart right we might be able to stick that one there. That's quite nice. Have a bit of interest. Just stick that. I might have to put a bit of glue under him because he's been on my desk a long time. And then, as they wanted to be together, I will keep them together, these two. Yeah, they want a bit, bit of glue. Oops, a daisy. I swear this desk is not level. <laughs> Things have a habit of rolling about. Oh, I don't want to stick down. It's because it's trying to stick to that thin deli paper. Let's just put my pop you there because... I find that very irritating. My pencil does that one. I've kind of had a look and it's on flat surface, but maybe the floor isn't. I don't know. 100% flat. 
Oh, that should stick down now. So that's got quite a bit of interest on it. I like that. Okay, let's put the lid on the glue. So that is how to use your scraps up and make some scrappy paper clusters. I mean, we could actually put... Where's the one we were going to put bling on? So we could actually put bling on that one now. And I like this amber sort of colour. Just pop it down there. I've got to get the glue back out. Um, it's probably enough around the edges. <laughs> it's such a gluey business. Oh my goodness, it's sticking to my sticking to me. Gosh. But I think that really makes that one kind of pop out. So there's nothing stopping me from adding that little flower on. But it's very similar to the script paper, you see, so I didn't want to. Um, so I've got some kind of a box full of flowers here. I've got that one, but they've got these stickers on. I suppose I could cut that off. Oh, actually, that just came off, so it doesn't make it quite so um, uh, bulky is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I was thinking ahead to something in here. Um, I've got lots of flowers and things in this, in this box. Um, that's a flower lace one, that one. Don't know what that's doing in there. See, things get put into all sorts of places. Some leaves even, some silky leaves. I uh, don't know that there's a colour here that I'd really want to... I do really want to put the shiny ones on. Um... I mean, that's pretty. I wonder if we could put that in the middle of... Um, in the middle of here. And pop that up there. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Oh, I think I'm going to do that. I must have a sort out of my um, craft things because... Um, it's all getting a bit a um, bit of a mess, really. I've got to wait for my husband to help me move the furniture around in here, um, so that we can make room for another small desk that I bought actually from Audi, which actually fits on the wall, and it just comes out from the wall a little bit because what I want is because I work here as well I want to um, be able to have a different desk for work just from a laptop um, yes yeah, so that's for another day maybe one day um, seems to be that this one wants to be used it's a little bit pale for me, so I'm just going to grab it up with the this and see whether I want to pop that on there. And it's just got a plain plastic insert in the middle. 
which isn't really that interesting um, to me anyway but I've got some metallic pens so I'm going to let's see I'm going to um, find a colour these are the colours um, sorry that was Paddy Dog and put a colour in the middle so that there is a bronze just have a look what that looks like on a bit of paper so let's see if we can just before we stick it down I'm going to colour colour round this in the middle part of the flower I'm doing a little line around the outside of it too, to which comes up darker because this is like a paper flower. And I think that shows up a lot more than it did. It does, actually. Do I want it on there? Or do we want it there? See, I quite like it on that one, so I'm going to glue it on that one and not think about it too much. So this is what I mean by you can add um, add to them afterwards. So i probably leave the blue butterfly one now and we'll add to that when we use it. Just adds another dimension and you can curl up the leaves it's waiting for that stick so right definitely finished now okay so these are my paper clusters that one I must wait until that's dry and If you have, say, a journal page, um, this was your journal page, you could pop one of these on and you glue it down here and here, along here, and then you'd have a tuck. So you could actually tuck something. Let's find something. You could actually tuck something behind it like that. It's a nice embellishment to a plain page. Okay, so those are my paper, well, what do you want to call them? Paper clusters, paper snippets. There they are. Let's put a lid on the glue, on the um, ink. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, trying to get everything out of view but it's impossible really <laughs> um, yeah the reason why I'm over this side of the desk a bit more it, at the moment is because I've I had a little set of it's like a plastic all-in-one tiered shelf that I had in um, a cupboard under the stairs and actually the shelving bits are only that wide so it's not wide enough really to put anything much on it so i decided it'd be better on on the end of my desk um and i could stand all my glues and bits and bobs on it so that's what i've done so anyway i hope you enjoyed that and just shows you what you can do with things i'm sure you can be very creative so i'll speak to you again soon take care everyone Bye bye <laughs>